my channel, How To Teens Edition. Today I'm going to be doing a review on what materials I use to create my friendship bracelets, such as embroidery floss, scissors, and how I make my bracelets, what do I use to tape them on the table, or stuff like that. If you guys like what you see here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more videos like this one, and don't forget to comment down below what other video ideas you'd like to see. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing you need for friendship bracelets, obviously, is embroidery floss. I normally buy mine off of Amazon. I have a box full of embroidery floss. This one isn't really organized, but I have, um, I think it's around 150 colors of different embroidery floss that I look through and I pick my colors. So this isn't the smartest way to organize them, but I'll show you guys later how I organize it. This is just my backup for when I don't have my main box. The embroidery floss doesn't have to be a specific kind. I don't normally buy premium brands because as long as they aren't the twisted kind and they are just the regular six strand, they all seem to work just as well for me. So this is what I would normally use to make my bracelets. It is a kit that I bought off of Amazon that has a bunch of different colors and on each of the bobbins it has a code number. So these, I look for the code number in the box of floss that I showed you earlier. And then when I find the matching code, once this doesn't have any more string on it, I'll just wrap it on. And so this is what I would normally use. And to cut my string, I use these scissors, which came with the pack. Or if you don't have something like that, you can just use regular scissors like this one. I use these as well when I don't have these ones with me. So this is my go-to place where I get my string and I'll leave a link to the description of where I bought this from like from Amazon but which exact one it was since I think it, the string quality is really really good for the price and there's a very large variety of colors. The next question is what do I do with my scrap string? So every time I do a bracelet and I have remaining string at the end that I never use I'm going to cut it off and I put this in my box of scrap strings so that when you do alphas and stuff, I have these strings that I can look at and then if I don't need a string that's too long, I can look in my straps and I can just take a string. So never throw out your scraps. And this is what I was talking about earlier. This is a twisted thread. If you look at it very carefully, you can see that it has a pattern almost on it when you would compare it to something like this you would see that there's no pattern. The yellow one is a lot better quality. This is what I use at the beginning and it gives your bracelets a very weird texture that I personally don't like, but these are a lot better quality in my opinion and these are the ones that you should get. Now, lastly, I get a lot of questions of how I make my bracelets on and off camera. So on camera, I would normally tape it to a book and then just place it on my table but I got this clipboard recently and it's very nice. So right here I have a bracelet that I have started. It's just the Starburst that you're going to be seeing in my end of the month wrap up. But what I would do is I just clip it on here and when I braid it, the clipboard would move around. So I either put some tape at the bottom or sometimes I have some putty and I'm just going to stick some putty on the back and then stick it on my table. That way it won't move around especially when I'm making videos because then it can get a little annoying for you guys to follow around. So with this bracelet, I'm going to be making a knot with me in real time as my next video, so I hope you guys see that. And too. this is the tool that I use to undo my knots. You can just as well use a safety pin, but this came with my embroidery floss kit and I find it very easy since you can just put this point, which isn't really that sharp, underneath your floss and then pull it and then it unknots the knot really well without fraying the string or anything. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. I have a new Instagram page where I ask you guys questions about what videos you'd like to see and polls about certain bracelet patterns which is just How To Teens Edition. You guys can follow me there if you like to take part in my videos. If you have any questions, you can comment them down below and I'll do my best to answer. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!